I'm so thankful you're here for this flow. We're going to need a strap, so you can use a yoga strap or even a bathrobe strap if that's what you have. And then you can place it off to the side and we're going to start in a standing position on our mat. We are getting any excess energy out of the body through some movement and gentle flow. But first, find yourself standing on your mat. Maybe rock back and forth on the feet for a moment to really set your foundation. The arms can be extended down by your side or maybe you place one hand on the heart and the other right on top. Just take a deep breath in, filling the body with air. And a slow cleansing breath out. Relaxing the shoulders, unclenching the jaw. Take another deep breath in. And as slow as you can, breathe out. Continuing to breathe deep with focus and control on your breath. As you use your next inhale to sweep the arms out by the side and up overhead, extending tall. As you exhale, melt down like you're moving through mud. Forward fold. Use your inhale to halfway lift. Exhale to melt down. And then inhale to sweep up into your chair pose just for a moment. Hugging the belly button into the spine noticing the legs and then taking an exhale to melt back down forward fold a moving meditation inhale halfway lift exhale to fold step it back find a plank and then your next exhale lowers yourself all the way down to your mat use an inhale to lift up for baby cobra exhale find yourself in your tabletop from your tabletop, inhale to lift the gaze, drop the belly. Exhale, press the floor away and round, tucking the chin into the chest. Taking this for another round or two, you're in no rush. And finding your downward dog when you're ready, trying to connect each breath with a movement. As you inhale, do reach the right leg high. Exhale to hug the knee into the nose and step it between the hands to the top of your mat. Breathing in to find a high lunge. Breathing out to find a warrior two, peeling the left heel down. Your next inhale sweeps the front arm forward and then exhale, reverse your warrior. Staying connected to your breath. Just feeling this in the body as you inhale back to center. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down to frame the front foot and then take a big step forward, forward fold. Inhale to halfway lift, letting this movement feel like medicine to the body as you exhale, fold. Inhale to sweep up into your chair. Take a slow exhale. Breathing in, breathing out to melt. Breathing in to halfway lift and exhale, step it back, find your plank, knees lifted or lowered, lower half or all the way down and then peel up into your heart opener. Finding your downward dog and remembering to move at a pace that feels good and allows you to get all your excess energy out, all that stuck tension. As you inhale to lift the left leg high, exhale to hug the knee into the nose and step it between the hands to the top of your mat. Your next inhale lifts the arms up overhead, keeping the shoulders relaxed. Exhale, peel open for your warrior two. Notice the earth beneath you. Feel the connection of the feet as you inhale and reach the left arm forward. Your exhale reaches back behind you, reversed warrior. Inhale to center. Exhale, cartwheel down to frame that front foot and take a big step forward, forward fold. Take in your time, let this feel good, and then breathing in to sweep up into your chair pose. Take a few breaths here, and then any transition that feels good, maybe just releasing the glutes down to the mat as you find your boat pose. Option to keep the feet on the mat. Take a deep breath in. Cleansing breath out. 
when you're ready, find yourself on your back. Hug the knees into the chest. Catch your breath. Return your focus. And then reach for your strap or your bathrobe and hook it around the sole of the right foot. We're inviting length in the back of the right leg. So often to keep the sole of the left foot on your mat with a bent knee or extend the left leg long. Flexing the toes towards the face, take a breath in and a breath out. And as the breath begins to naturally slow down Keep your focus on your breathing. And if that feels a little difficult right now with a noisy mind or external noise, that's normal. It's called a practice for a reason. So every time your focus gets lost, just practice coming back. Maybe on that next exhale, you can pull the toes a little closer to the face, but not forcing the body Allowing the strap to fall on the right hand. See what it feels like to release the leg over towards the right for a gentle hip opener. Each exhale melts you down a little more. And your next breath in returns you back to center. Place the strap in the left hand and cross the right leg over the body. This can feel like a lot, so go slow with this movement and just find that place that feels good for you. Inhale back to center. Maybe you can pull the toes a little closer to the face. And then very gently remove the strap from the foot place it off to the side maybe take a full body stretch reaching the arms up overhead the legs go long and then just gently place the strap on the left sole of the foot and as you pause here for a few breaths as you gently pull the leg closer and then further away from the face or maybe just rest in stillness Imagine the back of that left leg opening up. Releasing into the stretch a little bit more, allowing all the toxins and stuck tension to release from the body without you having to do anything but breathe. exhale maybe the toes can go closer to the face that next breath in and out gently place the strap in the left hand and allow the foot to sweep open over to the left keep anchoring the right hip down take a breath in and a breath out inhale back to center and as you exhale place the strap in the right hand and then cross the leg over the body, maybe shifting the hips. That left arm can extend out to a T. Just take a breath here. Inhale back to center. Maybe you can pull the toes a little closer to the face. And gently remove the strap a full body stretch and just notice if there's any other little movements you feel like the body might need to take maybe a happy baby reaching for the outsides of the feet
then take your time to set yourself up for a few moments in Savasana. The soles of the feet can come together and the knees can part. Or find any other pose that allows you to just recenter for a few moments. Taking a slow breath in and a slow breath out. Letting the breath become slower and more calm. Feeling more relaxed with every breath out. grateful for this moment, remembering that everything will be okay as you relax the eyes, unclench the jaw, notice your shoulders, notice your heart and belly rise and fall with your breath, as you notice the next inhale and exhale. Allowing yourself to rest right where you are if you'd like. But if you'd like to rise, gently take a full body stretch or hug the knees into the chest. Your next exhale rolls you onto one side as you take a breath in and a breath out. Gently press yourself up to a seat or stay right where you are. Palms can come to touch as you inhale the thumbs to the center of the forehead for good thoughts. You exhale to them to the lips for good words. Breathe in. As you breathe out, let them fall to the heart for good intentions toward yourself and others. Sending all of my love. Namaste. Hello.